Get that from my water. Oh, that is a joke. Hey, yo, hey, I care about everybody. Get that from my mother. Oh, they die slow. My heart in a puddle. I just drive slow. Free drive. What up, Say Gang, man? It's your boy Say, and I'm back with another reaction today, man. Listen, before we get into today's reaction, make sure y'all smash the like button. This motherfucking dog's barking and shit. Hold on, y'all. Feel me? Still trying to make it out the trenches. You feel me? Make sure y'all smash the like button and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so we can keep going up, man. And uh, so I can move out one day, man. Move away. Be up in a penthouse or something or in a nice crib. Shooting even way better content for you guys. Also, I know y'all seen my intro, so go subscribe to my other two channels. Link in the description. My vlog channel and my main channel. And I ain't even gonna talk y'all ahead of Y'all see the title? Let's go ahead and get into today's reaction, man. Dante Wilson, a Wendy's manager, called 911 to report that he had been robbed 10 minutes earlier just outside of a Wells Fargo bank where Jeez. he was supposed to deposit nearly $1,000 of cash from Wendy's register. Just 1000 A deputy arrived at Wendy's to determine if a robbery really did take place or if Dante was trying to pull a fast one on the fast food chain. Just a thousand, bro? So listen, man, I had uh worked at a fast food restaurant. And by the way, man, I just came from a job interview today. I want to let y'all know that. So y'all got to keep supporting me so I don't got to work forever. But when I was working at Skyline, bro, we used to easily take, and that's a fast food restaurant for the people that don't know. We used to easily take more than a thousand dollars back to a uh, to a bank. So that's crazy. It was only a thousand. You feel me? That make it seem a little iffy. The story already isn't adding up when he tells the officer that he called 911 twice, once immediately after the robbery, and another time when he returned to Wendy's. Called in twice? Yeah. All right. I just talked to our dispatch. He's only got one call recorded from you. Okay. Well, I know for a fact that their system's not going to... Their, 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 their system's not going to lie. So, I want you to think about it. it. We've got it documented. You only called 911 once. We got it documented that there's only been one report of this call. Oh, so we kept it. Okay. Is there something that you want to, if there's something else you want to talk about, or is there something else you want to say about this? No, there really isn't. Okay. And this happened about yes. 10 o'clock? Yes, sir. Okay. And where did you go? You came straight back here? I came straight back here. You came straight back here. So, you dropped to the... At the bank, you were at the bank at 10 o'clock when this happened. Yeah. Right. And once it happened, you followed the guy and came straight back here. You didn't stop anywhere else. Right, but you didn't go anywhere else. You didn't stop anywhere else. I didn't stop anywhere else. I came to work this straight here. And then as Are I you came certain in, about I that? I'm 100% certain. I came in straight, and they were sitting right there, and I told them, okay. I'm like, this is what happened. Yeah, okay, I'm going to tell you right now. I've got guys reviewing the video from 9.30 to 10.30. Okay? Jeez. We're in hey, make sure y'all never skip my ads, but we definitely couldn't no, skip their ads because no free promo. Emergency we never know free promo, blah, 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 blah. But y'all let me know if y'all think he capping or not. You feel me? This nigga crying is super good. He turning pink and shit. You feel me? Black people don't turn pink like that. But even though he light skin, you feel me? So he can't be fully black. You feel me? He gonna turn a little pink. pink. But y'all let me know, man. Y'all think this nigga um, telling the truth or not? If something did indeed happen, it's going to show it. If something didn't happen, it's also going to show that. All right? You need to be honest with me, 100%. I'm 100% honest. Exactly okay, because things are not adding. Exactly I'm going to tell you right now. I haven't even looked at the video, but things are not adding up. I am telling you this. I'm looking straight at you in the eye and telling you things are not adding up. That's crazy. Because I, okay. I don't have the reason to lie, honestly. I'm not saying you and do. Just, I'm, I'm just saying that. I've here so long, and I've never had a money problem. This nigga might be capping. Okay. He might be capping. Can you do me a favor for me real quick? Yeah. You've given me a video Probably statement. I just need you to raise your right hand for me. Straight Do you swear the video statement you've given me is the truth to help you guide? Yes. Yes. State your full name. And state your date of birth for me. Okay, okay, we're gonna put his info on this. Fill out this top part. Starting here, I just want you to write exactly what transpired, okay? So you didn't, you didn't call nobody, and you didn't go nowhere else. 
No text messages, no nothing. No. Okay. You doing all right, bud? You need some water or anything? No. Okay, you done with your statement? Yeah. Okay, well, you signed it before I could swear you to it. Oh, do me a favor. Raise your right hand for me. You swear the statement is the truth, nothing but the truth, so I hope you got it? Yes. Okay. Put your hand down. Now listen, you understand what perjury is, right? Yes. What's perjury? Um, false accusations or claims that something happened and they don't get it. Well, perjury's lying in court, but yeah. Okay, this, now you've sworn to this, it's the same thing if, if you've misled in any way on this. It's perjury, okay? I am giving you one golden opportunity. If there's any... This cop keep giving this nigga chances, you feel me, and... Just like, if I'm, bro, I'm gonna let you know, like, bro, why the fuck you keep asking me questions, you feel me, like, or keep giving me chances at the chances, if you don't believe me, just slap the cuffs on me. Like, I'm that type of guy, I'm gonna be like, bro, if you don't believe me, bro, quit asking me over and over again, like, bro. But, something made me tell me this nigga ain't telling the truth. I'll say you wanna add, or if something happened a different way, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm trying to... Nothing happened a different way. Nothing happened a different way. And I way. didn't talk to anybody. You didn't talk to anybody? Nobody. You didn't, send I was no, even just, you didn't send no text messages? Nothing. I can even show you guys my phone. Okay. Okay. And then it sucks that it has to be on my shift when this happens, because now I'm the one held responsible for the $900, well, technically almost $1,000. And then on top of that, I can lose my job for that, being that I was responsible for that deposit. Right. right. Okay. And that... Uh, Man, I don't know what type of watch he got on, but I ain't seen one of these. Well, this is in 2017. It's like, damn, a little minute ago. But my nigga threw the watch on the big. He, he said, when a bad bitch walking here, you feel me? I got to show her the bus down. Working at the Winnie's. You didn't tell your managers, your superiors, a little bit of a different, different story? Did I tell them a little bit of a different story? No. Okay, I'm just asking you. I'm trying now. Okay, you understand that I'm trying. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna have a detective come out. And he's gonna yeah. help us try to solve this. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I've got a I've got a deputy yeah, pulling video from 9:30 to 10:30. Okay. Now That's my understanding is that the process, of drop process, is to do to, to do it through the drive-through. Why would you get out and go into your car? When I before I became a manager, when I was in training, the manager that was on duty that day, she normally says that she goes into the bank to do her change orders. And as well as drop the deposit sometimes in case the drop through is too busy, so we just shouldn't get back to work. So you're saying at 10 o'clock this morning it was too busy? No, it was packed in there. I even went to Bank of America, too, to do a change order, and they were packed So too. you went to Bank of America, too? Yes. When did you do that? I did that before I left because I had to get gas as well. And I told my boss Before you left too. where? When I left here, I went straight there because I had to get gas before I broke down on the road. And then while I was right there, I just did the change order at Bank of America. And what time was that at? It was roughly 9.45, 9.30ish. It was around that area when I left. It was like 9.40 something when I left. Hmm. He ain't tell the cop that. He ain't tell the cop that. Now the cop in the questioning. Watch. Put yourself in my shoes for a minute. Listen to everything that you said. Yes. If you've been injured in a car accident, oh, blase, 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 blase. We don't give up. Yeah. Hey, sound to you. How, how would your story sound to you? If I was giving, if I was telling you the same story, how, how would you, how would it sound to you? Honestly, it would sound pretty crazy being that the fact that you weren't there, so if I so much want to explain it to you, you have to get everything with detail. And plus, I'm still shaking the Bible, so I'll do the best of my ability to give you everything that I know. And that's exactly what I've done. Oh, yeah. From every single movement that I did, every sound that I made. Well, what's, what I'm having a hard time with is that... If you're having a hard time, why don't you just do what you need to do? You feel me? He is doing his job as a cop, like asking him all these questions. But me, bro... I mean, I'm about to look you dead in your eye as the winning manager and be like, bro, if you don't believe me, do what you need to do, bro. Like, come on now. And we need to get a quick little thumbnail real quick. Oh, 
Or that should be tough. Don't be in the comment section killing me about my thumbnails. You feel me? That thumbnail is the reason why you clicked on this video. That you gave, you willingly gave up the money because you didn't want. After a while, yes. Because at first I was like, wait a minute, what are you doing? And, okay, and this bank was so packed. Nobody came to your aid. Nobody. No, nobody was outside. Everybody was inside. It was a lot of cars outside. And it was cars still coming in and out of that plaza period. Nobody was there outside. It was just him sitting in front. But you said the drive through was so passed, which would lead me to believe that. There no, was I didn't people. say the drive through was passed. So why didn't you go through the other? No, I was just going inside. Why? That, it was easier. But I thought, your, S S I thought your SOP was to go through the drive through But yeah, but then like I said too, when my manager that was on duty that one day when she told me how to do it, she said she normally goes in sometimes. So I just, just decided well, what to go dictates in. What if you go in or not? If it was well, that, it was just up to me, honestly. If I go in, I'm just supposed to drive. So, through, so you, I chose to go inside. But what is the SOP? Well, now I know is you have to do the drive through. I never knew that was mandatory to do the drive through in particular when it's the same process on the inside. So you're saying that this was a short, this was a short sighted of train? Not really short sighted train, but I never really do deposits because, like I said, I'm a new manager, so a lot of things I still haven't done yet or haven't done enough of. Okay. And this happened right in front of the store? Right in front of the bank? Just about. It was like at the corner. Because he was sitting on the side close to drive through And my car was parked at the corner. Towards the front. So if you see this gentleman and he, he catches your eye. Well, I didn't pay him no mind at first. Until I saw him when I got parked, he started working towards me. That's when I looked at him and I didn't pay him no mind. I thought he was going to walk right past me. And then as I'm walking towards the bank, then we started tussling. He just started grabbing him. And I have an exact, I wish I could have taken a picture out there. Okay. Okay. So I, I still can't, I still don't understand why if the drive through wasn't busy that you wouldn't just go through the drive through for safety, safety reasons considering the fact that you have to be back here. Well, I just normally do it all the time going inside. I never really went to drive through, period. So you don't ever go to the drive Yeah, and at the same time, I never really do deposits either. How many deposits have you done? Um, since I've been a manager, maybe three. Maybe three. Okay. Because normally I'm a night manager, so normally... He seen that money, and he said, this is a great opportunity to come up a rack. To come up that rack. You feel me? To really come up a quick little thousand. A lot of niggas would have folded, though. I ain't gonna lie. If he not telling the truth, he's doing a great job at not telling the truth. And if I have a nigga rob me for $1,000 and we get to split it, I'm gonna tell the nigga, like, hey, bro, you gotta punch me or something. You gotta make this shit seem real. Because he ain't doing a good job to making it seem... He is, but he not. Well, we go see. We go see. The manager normally takes the deposits from the night before. Being that the banks are closed at that time. Okay. All right, sit tight. Dante rode with the deputy to the bank where the alleged robbery took place to meet with investigators and try to make sense of his story. why you didn't park over in those other grand spots. Yeah. Those other two spots were empty? Yeah. The, all three of these spots were empty. Well, the one in the middle wasn't. That was in an accident. That was made a weapon. I was grabbed at the wrong time. Like when it was over the there. Door, oh. You actually said you were saying that you parked in that far right spot. Over here, though, that's well, my picture looks exactly like this. Like, okay. Like this. You're 100% positive you parked right there. Okay. okay. All right. Is that the entrance you normally use when you come to this thing? Yes. Okay. And I really do deposit, so. You feel me? All different Wendy's make different amounts of money, you feel me, in a day. But I don't really, really, how much, I wonder how much money that they Wendy's make in a day. It's still in a thousand, bro. Wendy's is get, getting paid more than that. I easily. Okay. Oh no. Ads after ads after ads, bro. Bank surveillance footage later revealed that Dante had gone to the Wells Fargo that day and completed a normal transaction inside of the bank. He left without being robbed or confronted by anybody outside of the bank. Oh. He was charged with felony grand theft, perjury, making a false report of a non-existent crime and a false 911 call. He was booked into jail and the judge offered him a $4,000 bond, but Dante oh. apparently did not have the means to pay because he remained there as he awaited trial. He pled not guilty to the charges. He even wrote a personal letter to the judge 
asking to begin his probationary period as soon as possible and citing that he was soon going to receive his degree in forensic science, something that would have come in handy prior to committing a fake robbery. He ended up pleading no contest to the charges and was sentenced to 120 days in jail with credit for 79 days of time served. Whoa. He was also placed on probation for three years. Damn, he tried to get over on him. They got it. He was ordered to pay Wendy's back in the amount that he stole of $992. He violated his parole after THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, was found in a drug test. In response, he told his probation officer that, quote, I don't do drugs at all. No weed, no black and mild, no nothing. If I did something... This nigga is a big liar, bro. I wonder what's his sign. This nigga gotta be a Gemini. I would have told you. Dante later became a shift leader at Taco Bell. Unfortunately, he didn't learn much the first time around because he was arrested in 2023 for petty theft after stealing $70 straight from the cash register. Oh, this he is was quickly stupid. fired and is no longer welcome at the store. Should another fast food give Dante yet another chance at managing what? their store without fear of losing money? Be sure to leave your opinion. Bro, this nigga tripping, man. Make sure y'all be out here moving smart when y'all get these jobs. It's your boy Say. See you guys another day. We on the road to 100k. Hey, let me for dead and I'm the one. Can't trust little cuz. I'm bringing a gun. Living too fast. It used to be fun. My mama just asked if I'm seeing my son. I'm in the trenches. I live in the birds. My eyes just call me. She reading.